Are you ready for another adventure? Because I am. Today we are going down to Escondido, which is about, I don't know, the way I drive, probably 30 minutes away, because we have to get my car in for service. I've been going around and I've been doing my vlogging and thrifting from different areas. I've been going to LA a lot. In fact, I have three more um, three more trips to LA in the next two weeks. And with the gas prices, I gotta tell you, it's starting to hurt. So I'm going to my, um, my good old transportation needs some maintenance. So we're gonna go down to Escondido. We are gonna get her all dialed in and then we're gonna go thrifting afterwards. Cause I figure, you know what, why not? We're in a new city, we might as well check out their thrifting. And I did things a little bit differently really quick. I just got a black coffee. Yes, I drink my coffee black. And I indulged myself with a warmed chocolate croissant. So no egg bites and um, tea for me. Today I'm going chocolate croissant and um, black coffee. So I can already tell what kind of day it is. So enough talking, let's start driving and get this adventure started. Yay, adventure time. Adventure time. We're gonna have our adventure time. Yeah. All right, we made it. We made it and it's a lot busier than I thought it was gonna be for a Wednesday morning but we will make the best of it. So I get here and I'm like, oh, I have an appointment. And he's like, okay. And they put like their little like work order, I guess, and their little paper mats on my windshield wiper. And let me show you what the joys of being short looks like. So this is me trying to drive. And I, for the life of me, am trying to drive and looking over the top or to the side But clearly, when the very sweet little guy that checked me in didn't realize I was only five foot two, and he's like, here, let me just block your view. And yes, I could get out and move it, but you know what? Then it wouldn't be dramatic, and I wouldn't, couldn't be my drama queen, and I couldn't be like, oh, look at me. So anyway, we're here, and um, we're having fun. We're free! Yes! Oh my gosh, that took, we got here at 10. It is 2.32 in the afternoon. I am very thankful that I have, um, I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful that I have a car. I'm very thankful it's serviced. I'm very thankful I have you. You know what? I'm not gonna complain that it took me four and a half hours to get my car serviced because you know what? I just wanna be thankful. But we are on our way to Goodwill. And for that, I am super thankful. All right, we made it. We're here. Whoop, whoop. Let's let's go in. Let's see what it is. It says it's a Goodwill Clearance Center. So, not too sure if this is a regular Goodwill or like a super Goodwill or a Goodwill Clearance. And you know, the only way we're going to get the answer to this question is if I stop talking and go in. So, let's do that.
Okay, so this was one of those um, Goodwill bins, and I've heard of these before. I've never been to one. I thought I was gonna have to go to LA to find one, but nope, there's one right here in. This is actually um, San Marcos, which is right next to Escondido. So I didn't, um, I didn't find anything. Everything um, was just lumped into these big old bins and you had to look through them. All right, we are in the beautiful city of San Marcos, not far, not too, too far from um, that Dos Lagos shopping center that we went to not too long ago. So um, I totally did not pre-plan this one very well. And I gotta tell you, I know I'm gonna pay the price because coming here, traffic not so bad. Going the other way, traffic looks horrendous. And it looks like a cute little Goodwill. I don't think it's gonna be very big, but you know what? I'm not going to judge it on the outside. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take a look, and we're gonna see what we can find. Because you know what? That's what we do. We are adventurous, and we go on adventures together, and this is our adventure. So I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm gonna stop saying adventure, and we're gonna go in, and we're gonna see what it's all about. So, let's go. Adventure time. from one extreme to the other. The first one that we went to was the clearance center where everything's in a bins. This one was like a really cute little Goodwill boutique, such an enormous book center. My mother would have just gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in there. I thought about buying that John Sanford book. Um, I really like that series, that whole Prey series. But truthfully, I just don't have the time to read. And it, that's a really sad statement 
because I should give myself more downtime and give myself to read. But I am in the beginning stages of my whole social media domination and I find myself just doing nothing but um, creating. I create seven days a week um, and while I'm awake. So I gotta tell you everyone, I, I, I you, you were stopping me from reading. No, I'm just kidding. So I now have to figure the best way home. Cause like I said, I did not plan this one very well. So let's see what, let's see what we have in store. So we are going from here and we are going to go home. We are, we are, it's calculating. Oh, we're only an hour away. So that's not too bad. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's the way I was thinking about going. Also, I, I, you know what, I grew up around here. So I have kind of a little bit of an idea of fast ways around and um, we are going to take the fastest route and I will check in with you once we make our way through our traffic. So hang on, here we go. Temecula and you know what it wasn't as bad as I thought I thought it was gonna be way longer and a lot more traffic but when I was sitting in traffic I realized how absolutely hungry I am and I haven't had anything to eat since this morning with that chocolate croissant and I know I I sometimes I don't have the best eating habits but there you go I just said it so I decided um, I'm gonna make myself a really healthy um, dinner and I need to stop at the store to get some stuff so we're gonna stop in at Vons really quick and get the fixings for my dinner and then I'm gonna show you what a typical dinner for me looks like so let's go I'm starving and I need water so I'm gonna grab water when I'm in there too so let's go yay food mmm food all right, I made it home and we're going to make dinner. And let me show you what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna show you what um, all the ingredients are and then I'm not gonna bore you and make you watch me um, cook it, but then I'll show it to you once it's all together. So what dinner is gonna consist of is the avocado. We're gonna do chickpeas. We're going to do a meatless chicken patty. Absolutely love this brand. We're going to do some brown rice and lentils with a little bit of the queso. So I'm gonna cook all of that, put it together, and then I'll come back and I'll show you my yummy dinner. So here is what my dinner looks like. So here's my mess, but I have these lentils and then I have the chickpeas and the, the chicken patty, which isn't chicken avocado I put the little cheese over the top and then I'm gonna add some sriracha so that's all it looks like before it hits my stomach but I'm starving so I am going to go eat this but this is typically how I eat real clean vegetarian and I'm going to go enjoy my bowl so I'll be back after I eat so thanks for hanging out with me today. That was pretty much pretty much just what my Wednesday looked like. I gotta tell you, dinner was super yummy. Now I'm just going to sit back, kind of relax just for a little bit, then get back to doing some more creating. But I just wanted to thank you very much for hanging out with me today. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me, which I hope you did, by all means, please hit that like button. If you'd like to stick around and see what our next adventure is, you can hit subscribe. Now, if you have any comments or if you have any questions or if you have any ideas about future um, vlogs that you'd like to do, you know what? Please let me know and you can leave that comment down below. And if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, um, those are all listed down below also. So until next time, remember, wear what you want and I will see you on the next episode. Bye. Final thought of the day. 
I don't know if you caught this or not, but after um, I went and got my car serviced, I started to actually complain about like how long it took. It took my day. You know, um, I thought my my plans just weren't working out the way I had it. And then I, it, I really had to stop myself. I had to stop myself and be like, Lenny, you know what? These are not problems. These might be inconveniences, but they are not problems. You know what? I'm very fortunate to be able to do this with you. I'm very fortunate to have a car to drive. I'm very fortunate to be able to have it serviced. You know, I know that um, prices are expensive. Gas is expensive. Everything is expensive. And I made myself stop. I made myself stop, stop complaining and to be grateful. So my final thought for the day is that sometimes I know that life just gets kind of a little overwhelming and sometimes it just feels like it's a little blah, blah, blah. But it's at that moment that I really hope that you stop and you just take a deep breath and you just be like, you know what? These are just inconveniences and I have a lot to be thankful for. Because I gotta tell you, once I did that, my whole day turned around. I had a lot of fun just hanging out with you. So final thought of the day, Sometimes um, we just have to just do a reset and just look at our situations just a little bit differently.